Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to use Redshift Dome Light. In short, the dome light is a virtual spherical light around the entire scene, which color and intensity can be specified by HDRI map. Let's go to an example. Open the asset browser, go to the models tab, click on the toys folder and drag and drop the two toy planes into the viewport one after the other. Thus we have created the simple scene. To add a dome light to the scene, open Redshift menu, select light and click on the dome light. Now run Redshift's interactive preview rendering by opening the Redshift menu, clicking on RS render view and pressing the start button. Then click on RS dome light object, go to the object tab and load the HDRI map as a texture for the dome light. You can download HDRI maps for free from the internet. Each HDRI will result in different lighting. Therefore, when selecting an HDRI map, pay attention to how different types of materials will look like in this HDRI environment, if such an option is available. Here are glass, ceramic, metal and plastic. Let's go back to our scene. To rotate the HDRI map, click on RS dome light object, press rotate tool on the toolbar and rotate the dome light object in the viewport by clicking and dragging, the same way you do with other objects. Another way to rotate the dome light is to click on the RS dome light object, go to the coordinates tab and change the rotation values. The overall intensity and brightness of the dome light is adjusted by the exposure and intensity values in the object tab. Let's increase the intensity to 3. To turn off the visibility of the background texture, uncheck the background box. As you can see, the HDRI map affects the scene, although it is not visible. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.